Welcome to an episode of 10 Minute Tuesday. If you're new around here, 10 Minute Tuesday is a video series where I try to make a song in only 10 minutes. Today we're going to be using the OP1 and I think we're going to try to make a simple 80s beat. I know I've done this before, but it's fun for me and uh, I like doing it. So I'm just going to keep doing what I like to do and you're going to have to watch it. Well, I guess you don't have to watch it. Please watch it. Uh, we've got the tempo set at 118 BPM. We've got our in and out points set up. We've got an eight bar loop and we're going to jump in and start with sequencing some drums as soon as I hit start on the 10 minute timer. So let's do this. Y'all start 10 minutes, go. All right. And what do we got for the drums? Let's go and make sure we turn off our reverb. And... There's a good 80s drum kit. Let's sequence something together. We're gonna just do a real basic drum beat to start it off with, and if we have time, maybe we'll uh, go in and spice it up a little bit. Oops. So let's go back to our tape, track one. We're gonna go into the synth and start trying to find a basic uh, bass sound. I know which one I'm looking for. This one. Do that. We're gonna go. Got a bass. Let's try to come up with uh, some chords, I guess. Poly. Uh, sequencer. There we go. Okay, let's try to do something with that. That seems like good enough. We've got three and a half minutes. Let's record this and then we can try to find some sort of a uh, lead. And we've got three minutes to come up with some sort of hopefully good sounding lead. I'm not a big fan of this synth. Although it does sound pretty 80s like. Let's keep, let's, let's force it through. Uh, inspiration is not with me. And the timer has gone off. All right, as you heard there, right before the timer went off, I think I've got something to lay down for the lead. Just over 10 minutes, not bad. Let's try to go track four and just try it without much practice. We have something fairly good. We got it in just a hair over 10 minutes. I'm gonna take the next few minutes and I'm gonna add a little bit of a drum transition and just try to make it so it's not so repetitive. So let me uh, work on this for just a few more minutes and uh, we'll be good. So first we're gonna go back into our drums, go back into our sequencer. That's not bad. Okay, let's try it with the swing kicked up, see if it gives it a little bit better of a life. Yeah, I like that. All right, we've added a transition to help uh, unrepetitive, repetit, unrepetitiveness. Not. Uh, uh. Let's do it. So it's sounding pretty full but I gotta find a new lead. All right, 
right. Um, I think I've got the right notes. I'm not entirely sure which order they belong in, but um, I'm going to record it and hope that it works. All right, guys, I think we've got a song here. We had a good skeleton built before that 10 minute mark. So I'm going to count it after the 10 minutes. I fleshed it out and made it a little less repetitive. And I think it's all right. I would love to know what you guys think about what I'm doing here. So please leave a comment below if you think I need to change anything or if you just want to leave your appreciation for what I'm doing. If you like the video, please click the like button down below. It really does actually help. If you really like the video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Until then, I think I'm gonna jam us out. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.